I think I can pick up inspiration everywhere. I can pick up inspiration from what excites me a lot, like nature and reality and, and life and symbols. It's little, it's little details that, that I see or that excites me. The name is Troll Beats Internationally and in Scandinavia it's the original name uh, Trollkuder. It's a designer based company where we work intensely to get a good design and then we have people connected to us who are specialists in manufacturing. I don't know exactly how many beats we make a year but I know we have about 4,000 what you call 4,000 doors so there's about 4,000 shops in the whole world that uh, sell trial beads. I try to create something with a lot of depth. I think that is, to me, the challenge is in this little space to get to play with the magnifying uh, nature of glass. The eyes love to play with the glass. The eyes love to study it. Every bead is made by hand, so even if the material glass in itself is not expensive, the time spent making one is long. I experiment a lot and I, I try to put something into the glass that maybe sometimes you can't and I hope it works. Uh, so, so working with the, the glass beads was magic. I have some ideas, I have some desires, I have something I would like to reach and I experiment until I get there. I think it is part of the success that we are so many people inspiring uh, the collection and uh, we try to keep the collection limited. So we retire beads from time to time and uh, I would like it ideally to have a collection no more than 400 beads. My father was educated jeweler before the war. He made the more traditional charms that you attach to a chain. I still think that it's very much his vision that was sort of born into us and that we picked up on and developed from. It all always looked very exciting what my dad was making because my dad was not only making jewelry, he was making pottery or he was making sculptures and he was making all kinds of things. So I think, I think that very inspired from the fact that what he did looked so much fun and so interesting, ignited the desire to follow in his footsteps. The Trollbeats family is a big family because it's a lot of people who make a lot of decisions and who inspire each other. We all have separate companies, but we work together and use each other's talents to the, to the forest. And, and that is one of the very big uh, advantages of working with a family. You know exactly what you can expect and the trust is enormous and the energy to try to live up to each other's expectations is very big. Well, I think they say, uh, a family that play together stay together and we definitely play together. Sean, who is the grandly skilled and talented sculptor of the family, who is very creative and who can bring one idea to something even more exciting. Sean's method is carving wax and finishing in metal. He usually has an idea 
and he will get the things little in place in uh, drawing first. He's curving and uh, melting his design and he, he's actually able to almost finish his design in wax and then he hands it over to Jens and uh, Jens is casting his, uh, this little model from wax into silver and uh, this is the way that the models are finished. Cern is a very active uh, artist. His creation has no limits. Metasopi is a lovely designer. She makes such beautiful and skilled and feminine, but still very strong design. Her beads are very popular and she has very much captured the essence of trial beads, uh, that it has to be something that is very Metasopi, something where she really adds with her special signature design. And she reaches out to people who are captivated by her design. They like her way of uh, playing with the light. She's a very talented uh, jewelry designer and I've been working with her for more than 10 years. Toha is a young man who has been uh, trained to work with computers and that is uh, one of his main tools for creating his beats. So he go in on the computer, which is a new way, a way I have never worked, and he can sort of approach the whole beat view or the beat sense. So of course his beat look completely different. There is no discussion that uh, it's the future to use that extra tool. But there's still a truth, and that is, no matter how many tools you have of the best kind, if you are not a good artist, you know, you can have all the tools in the world, and you will still not be able to uh, create something outstanding. So we're not in love with the, the, the tools in itself. It's, it's the artists, it's their uh, talents and sculptures that uh, carries the designs all the time. We have customers who enjoy a wide variety of designs. You can collect by designer. You can collect by animals or by pattern beads. It has been very successful for the development of the collection to have many artists. In my life and in, in my country's history, trolls make a lot of sense and we've never had to explain the name within our own country. Personally, I've always lived very close to a forest and lakes, so, and that is where all the trolls live. Trolls are part of our nature and it was in our family something we would talk about. If, if something was a little strange or something was misplaced, then was sure it was a troll who had moved it. In, in our culture, it's easy to understand or it doesn't need any explanation, but I can promise you that if I had known what I know now, that I would be in so many foreign countries, I would have thought of another name. <laughs>